Hey, welcome back. I'm glad to see you here. Today, I've got a good one for you. We're going to be using ChatGPT to make the descriptions of our products for our website. The problem that I have a lot when I'm actually designing websites is that I'm not a wordsmith. So when a client gives me a product, their descriptions are a bit lacking. And the clients themselves are pretty passionate about their products, but they too are not a wordsmith. And some of them can't afford to have a content creator make something for their product. I can't tell you how much time this has saved me when making websites for my clients. Without further ado, let's get into this. Enter our first product, the round knot pillow. So the description that we have for this product is a round knotted pillow, you can add color and shape to any themed room. And then it's got listed colors available, size, fabric. Please note these are handmade. It's not a very good description. Well, it gets the job done, but it's missing that pizzazz and it's not a very searchable description. We're gonna take this and we're gonna put it into ChatGPT, but we're gonna give it a couple of guidelines to make a better description for us. Now, the more guidelines we give, the better chance we are not going to be hit by AI detectors, which is something that you should just be wary of. But if you are very descriptive in what you're trying to get out of an AI like ChatGPT, then the AI detectors aren't really a worry that you have to worry about. If you just put something generic, then obviously, then you're going to have to make sure that that description that's very generic is AI detector safe as such. I do have a video about that and the link will be in the description. Now I'm going to highlight this, I'm going to copy it, right? So the description I've used in ChatGPT is as follows. Give me a product description for an e-commerce website. I wasn't joking that I'm going to be very specific. It must be SEO optimized and the product name is a round knot pillow and the details of the round knot pillow are as follows and that's exactly what I copied from the website that we have already. Now let's see what ChatGPT gives us. All right, so ChatGPT is finished with our product description. Man, that is something. It's a big difference from what it gave to what we had originally. I'm not gonna sit and read it out for you. Like you can pause the video and read it for yourself. I mean, that's like perfect sales copy for a website. And I don't wanna be sitting there tooting the horn of an AI and go, go AI, go. I mean, I've seen Terminator, I know how that ends. But I mean, I'm still impressed. It really nails down all the description points that we wanted. So now we can highlight and copy this and then put it into that product. I'm gonna go into the back end. And here in the product description, I'm just gonna highlight and just paste and then say update. So now if I pre preview it, you can see such a difference. This is really more professional looking. It's so useful to have a tool like ChatGPT or a different AI. I mean, it's not the only one around, but it's nice to have these sort of tools just to really speed up the workflow. So the next product that we have is a sleeping bag. It has the same problem. It doesn't really entice you to sell anything and it's not optimized in any shape or form. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy this and we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to copy it over. I'm going to go over to ChatGPT and I'm going to give the, the same sort of description. So just like before, I'm being very descriptive of what I'm saying. I've actually just copy and pasted the first section of what I said before into here. And then I just changed the product name and the details that we got from the website that was very limited and small. So again, I said, give me a product description for an e-commerce website. It is important to say what you need this for and be as specific as possible because you do want it SEO optimized because I mean, it can rant and give you an article. We want a sort of sales copy for a product description. So it knows to keep it just in the right size. And here I gave the product name, which is baby's first sleeping bag. And then the details are, and then I pasted what I had already in the website. So let's see what ChatGPT gives us. And here we go. ChatGPT has actually covered everything. It's got the colors in there, it's got, as well as the fixtures of the sleeping bag. And it only took me a couple of seconds to do this. If you want to read it, please just pause the video and have a look through it to see what type of sales copy it did give for this product description. And it does look pretty SEO optimized. So now all I'm going to do is going to copy it over just like before. Here in the back end for the product, I'm just going to highlight, paste. It's got all the variables from before. It's just in a nice professional looking description. And we click update. And there we go. Our new description is now part of the product. But you know what's very cool about this? Sometimes I get a client that just gives me a word for the service. Like literally, it's just the service name. Like one of my latest clients, all they gave me was some of the products that they actually do, but they gave me nothing about materials, description, nothing. It was just literally the name. So I went into ChatGPT and I gave a description for that product and it gave me something just perfect for the website. Now, I'm not a professional in their field and they are so fixated on their services or items, they don't really know how to describe it enough for a website. They can obviously give the description perfectly when they're actually speaking to a client but for a website there's a certain style that you really have to put forward i'm going to show you that as a quick example so here is an example the company told me trusses right 
And that's it, that's all that they gave me. And with the help of ChatGPT, I was able to come up with enough content to fill out this page properly. And what I actually tried over here was I gave the company name, I gave what the thing was, and I told the ChatGPT that it's a service or a product in that particular situation. In this example, it was the actual product. And I came up with this as a response. But you do have to be careful because ChatGPT is not perfect. If it doesn't look right to you, then try correct it first before just blindly accepting what ChatGPT gives you. Let me show you quickly example of that and I had that in this exact same project so here's this product called a hip starter I have no idea what that is I came to find out is this end piece right over here where I'm circling with the mouse on a tiled roof now when I initially asked ChatGPT for a description for this it gave me hip starters they were made out of wood and all these other type of materials that weren't actually accurate because for my client the hip starter was actually made out of concrete mortar that sort of stuff it wasn't made out of wood the, you do have to keep an eye out I mean ChatGPT is not perfect it's just as clever as whatever gets inputted so someone somewhere used hip starters but out of wood so do keep a lookout for the product explanations that it gives and again i have no idea anything about hip starters or or trusses or anything like that so trying to come up with some content like this for me personally is just impossible and again the client is not exactly a wordsmith they might be very good at what they do but actually trying to put pen to paper it's, it's not their strength so chat gpt is perfect for this i hope you like this quick video i find this chat gpt thing quite fascinating i'm always trying to see how this can make me faster hence me having a couple of videos on this chat gpt subject i'm actually contemplating if i should actually make a video about how i actually feel about this whole chat gpt and ai thing i'm not quite sold on the idea of actually doing that video just yet because i feel like these videos of making of chat gpt is, is getting a bit boring for me and there's so much things that i need to cover and want to cover anyways i hope you enjoyed this video if you want me to make a video about something just leave a comment down below and i'll see what i can do i do have some requests already and those are in the pipeline they are coming and with that i'll see you in the next one cheers